this hero skin makes you win. I'm convinced. Does it now? Yes, the Aquaman <laughs> alt skin, okay? Hero from Dragon Quest 2 alt skin definitely makes you win. And I'll, uh, look, if he doesn't win this round, I'll cry. Oh. But honestly, okay, so Hero against Palu, typically in Palu's favor. Uh, she has Reflector, she has a lot of, uh, like, better Nair, she has better things than Hero. But you know what? If Hero's, if uh, Vivi is able to use Kafriz, Ka Kaboom, uh, and get those Oom Psycho Accelerado combo going on, you know what? He has a great chance against uh, Palu. Absolutely, and keeping it pretty even here, only 62% on Utopian Ray, and I feel like Vivi is definitely just trying to buy some time so he can get some of his buffs that he needs, while still actually fighting, you know, Utopian Ray, and oh, going for that, just right out the bat, trying to end Ray's life. His stock could have been dead, but not just dead entirely yet, and if I'm going to be completely honest, kaboom. Yeah, no, that, that, was a really, that was a really, really weirdly timed Kaboom because Utopian Ray was already on stage. Probably was trying to guess that Utopian Ray was going to come down and get caught in the little small uh, angle Kaboom. But you know, that that up tilt, well, I believe it was up tilt that took that first song off of Utopian Ray. VV only at 105%, and never mind, I lied, that back air is going to take it. Both characters at 0% in neutral. VV is going to have to really work hard to get Psych Up, Psych up Oof, Com and Accelerado coming on for uh, against Palu. You know, honestly, I definitely love the way that. Ray is actually playing around a lot of what Vivi wants to do, but it doesn't look like it's enough because honestly, you know, this positioning, amazing. Making sure that he stays on the platforms, doesn't want to really like commit to anything too great because he doesn't want to end up in a position where he gets a random kaboom, random frizz, or like, you know, random, you know, flack even. You know, okay, situations you like turn. that just like ends up in a very bad position for, you know, Ray. So that's very good on his part, but BB just making sure, playing sticky to the name of um, game plan, sorry. Um, just a making sure. Yep. A, sorry, I, I saw the, a little bit of Zap kind of coming out in order to get a little more damage on Ancient Man Ray, but again, this is a pretty even game. Gonna pretty much render uh, uh, a lot of uh, Paulus projectiles useless with bounce on for about 12 seconds at a time. And you know what? I, I was really hoping that snooze come out, but you know, uh, Ancient Man Ray has been using a lot of that upper platform to kind of keep himself at bay. And ooh, you tried it with the up air guess, which I, I, I appreciate. Only five places the hero can land on, on this stage with uh, with Zoom. 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 Bum, bum, but and for like sure, popping. they're making sure they keep it pretty even. And ooh, that looked like it wanted to be an up tilt right there, but not gonna shoot the gun right there. I'm honestly really feeling like Ray is just scared. Honestly, just trying to play super, super safe, and that's exactly what it's looking like. Trying to stay mid-distance, not wanting to give Vivi any semblance of something that might kill back like that back here, taking off that second stock from Ray, and this is, again, where it can get really scary. You know, Vivi is just playing the game right here, but oh. what is... That didn't kill? You're kidding. You're literally kidding. I actually thought it would kill because the Salerado pretty much makes you go faster against the Blast Zone, but you know, it might just not been enough, but oof. Whiffing, uh, not whiffing, but like taking Vivi a little bit away from the ledge with the, with down smash. But you know, it doesn't really matter when Vivi's at 125% and pretty dangerous if he's able to get either a Kafriz or a, a Frizz uh, combo starter going on into Fair into Nair, or Nair into Fair, sorry. And you know what? Utopian Ray just has to really close the stock as much as he can right now, because if, if, Vivi, if Vivi's able to get any more uh, extra credit for himself, it's going to be really detrimental for Utopian Ray when, he's, when he comes back from, that, from his last stock. Oof. I definitely love all this neutral going on right here. And I feel like definitely Utopian Ray is just trying to extend his jumps so that he can definitely find a little bit of a better way into, you know, center stage. But uh, here we go again. This is still 152% and Ray has not taken off this stock yet. This is definitely looking pretty scary. Yeah, good on Vivi for kind of manipulating where he is able to go. That's definitely gonna take that for, from uh, from Vivi. Guessing where the zoom is going to go is really really detrimental in order to kind of throw Hero off his game. So what I was saying earlier is uh, Vivi is being really smart by using the platforms in order to kind of alternate where he uh, starts getting his down B menu coming in from. So you know, kind of a way to get psych up and oom point. But you know what? He's not ha he hasn't been able to use get those buffs in for himself because you know Paulus is on him with. Uh, these projectiles that she's just so good at throwing out, you know? But now Bounce is active. Definitely gonna negate a lot of those. Gonna negate, uh... Ooh. I was, I was gonna happen, sorry. Waiting for a lot of things to happen. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're, we're back in neutral. Somewhat. 
if Vivi gets any of these oof psycho combos going. Honestly, this is. I really love how, you know, Ray's been able to just flip it on, you know, flip the fish on its head. Honestly, we've seen Vivi just in a really good advantage this whole time, but hasn't been able to do too much with it ever since. And now we're kind of just going to be swinging. It just looked like he'd be swinging. Oh my god, that was a really wishful Kafriz right there. Yeah, no, Vivi's gonna really have to work on, you know, getting some of some, like, guessing where... Oh, Kaboom's gonna take it! No, he's not gonna take it right now! Oh my god! But that Eto has been really good at uh, uh, placing Palu, where kind of where Vivi wants uh, one to be ready to be. Zapple not gonna go in there, neither is Frizzle. Then they're gonna take up a lot of uh, racket, but more damage on Vivi, on Vivi. But right now, you know, both characters at kill percent right at the moment. If Palu's able to get this back air... Oh my god, she just did it. She didn't get it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Oof. Absolutely. This is definitely looking very scary on both parts, but that F um, fair is not going to do it just entirely yet. And we're in a very serious situation for both players. That roll in is going to be the death of Ray rolling into that sweet, sweet fair, taking off the first game for VV. Very nice. Very loved. Very appreciated fair. We love it. You should I, love it too. I love it. Period. I was getting thing. anxious. I was like, oh my god. Because I know this, I, I, I've played many a Palu with Hero, and it is a, not a very fun matchup at all, in my opinion. But also, I'm bad, so my opinion is pretty much dirt. So. Dang, alright, bestie. But we but gotta get into the it, second game, and they changed the skin. But it's, it's, the same, it's the same skin, technically. It's the same character, it's still solo, which is regular Just, solo. Yeah. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, now, now Vivi's in disadvantage, solely because he changed the skin. I don't know what you would say about it. It's true. I I'm convinced or listen, the seventh hero all best all makes you win easily. You saw that last game? What <laughs> you won. So but either way, now we're onto this game. VV reckon with 31% th onto YouTube and Ray, kind of using a lot of those whoosh out of shields to his advantage into up to should have kind of balanced right there, but that's okay because now he has Accelerado active. Honestly. This is definitely going to be Vizen. This is exactly the same game we've been going on since the beginning. I'm not entirely sure what specific, you know, adaptions Vivi has been making. Because honestly, Ray has been keeping it super even, you know, just overall. What do you think? No, yeah, of course. You mean Ray has actually absolutely been keeping it even with the likes of Vivi. Someone who we know very well is someone who easily can top, like, top eight a lot of uh, locals that he goes to. So, you know... I'm loving the I'm loving Ray's plays right now, especially against Hero with Palu. You know, be, being very wise not to use any competent tiles against uh, Hero's balance, which a lot of people accidentally do. So you know what? Great plays on on YouTube and Ray right now. Don't don't do Kamikaze. Ooh. That flame slash definitely can take it. Only a six fr uh, only six frames, super fast. That's big. It's a very big hitbox, and it does it does hit under the ledge once invincibility does run out. Oh my god. Zappin. Very nice though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting on to ledge pretty nicely and only 108%. Vivi is looking like he's having lots of fun just trying to put on some more extra credit before, you know, Ray does eventually end up taking this dot. Oh, he, he just had enough MP for uh for swoosh right there. Perfect. And now he has a little you no know, Reckon Blood Mar uh, MP for himself, which is very important to heroes to heroes' whole playstyle. If you're someone who likes to, you know, fish for love of his buffs and his moves. So, you know, each of Ray gaining a lot of percentage onto Vivi, but not quite enough to get enough. Oh no, you have enough for Kasush, you're good. Not enough to close out the stock for himself, which is very important right now because Vivi is only giving himself more extra credit as the match goes on. Absolutely. Is that Nair gonna take it? Absolutely not. But we have Accelerado on the board, making so much better for Vivi. And it's already gone. Did I miss it? Was Did it I blink and it, it was gone? And no, did, did wait, wait, oh, did wow. Palu back there just completely negate most of Kafriz's hits? Are you kidding me? I didn't even know that was possible. Bestie is not giving. Oh my. Ooh, Great but maneuver know. from Vivi for avoiding uh, a lot of throws, but not getting the down tilt, but it's okay. We're, we're, it's good. Absolutely. Not a and turn around, guys. That was crazy. Ray's at 118%. And it would have been very scary if we saw, you know, BB or not BB, Ray lab BB in percent. I'm gonna be completely honest. Ooh, that, almost, that, that shield? 
Yeah, that, that's what Oomph does. That's what Psychop does. It destroys your shield with any snatch shield. attack. He did? Oh, wow. Oh, my. Anyways, but bounce back on the board. 130% and... Oh, you're bold. <laughs> you're crazy. You're crazy. Honestly. This is definitely looking like it can be very bad if Ray doesn't take, you know, some more extra credit. This is, this is wow. very scary. I'm surprised that Balance didn't actually, uh, wasn't able to do anything there. But Epto into, come on now, Fair, missing the Fair a little bit. Whoosh, up back to the stage. And we're going to do Sizzle. Nope. I would have done Thwack right there. Screw it. That 161% has almost 100% chance of dying at the moment if he had to get on Thwack. Ooh, that was a very good mix-up right there from VV, mixing up the times that he's actually going to get up. And still on ledge right here, but this is definitely very close to kill percent for Ray. And if Ray needs to do something, honestly, still making a little bit of a good comeback right here. But, you know, honestly, it only takes a fair and up tilt. If VV can find that up tilt, especially too, I don't know. I'm just getting really worried, you know. He took all oh, that up throw, <laughs> definitely gonna take it. Dang. The yeet. And that was with Oompa active, so yeah, definitely gonna take that that for that second stock from Timmy Ray. But you know what, Timmy Ray racking up a, a lot of extra credit for himself to make this back to neutral. Great on him right now. And now this hero, uh, oh, missing the Kafriz, trying to get the dare, not really gonna take it from someone like Paolo, who has really, really good recovery, because she's she was invisible at some point, so she's Gucci again, she's Gucci. Ooh, definitely love the weight right there. Just making sure that he's being very cognizant of what Ray's throwing out right here. And honestly, this is very good to BB's part. Just making sure, again, like right there, very narrowly spacing a lot of his moves so we can just avoid all of these moves from Ray. And it's working out pretty well with 69%. Nice. Um, you know, percent going on there. Um, but this is really good for BB. Right now, look at this. We have Kafriz active to be reverse Kafriz as we should. Absolutely was not attempting it. I think it's coming out that fast. Okay, I just want to hear the windscreen for here. Let's see, Hero. nobody said anything. I want to make sure no one's gonna say anything. I, I love hearing hearing the windscreen, the wind like sound for Hero. It's Valid, just, honestly. It's but good for stuff. sure, that was very good on Vivi's part getting that nice <laughs> Kafriz. Kamehameha type moment. Again, that nice B reverse Kafriz. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. I love to see it. I love to see it. <laughs> um, but for sure, I think we have we have definitely we have Zane and LRA coming up. Next. So we're gonna see Wolf versus Sheik. Wolf. As this, this is a matchup we saw uh, yesterday actually, and uh, the thing that LRA has to be worried about 